video because I realized I haven't done a DIY in what feels like a year. Just kidding, it really has been a year. But I promise that's going to change because I really want to start doing a lot of them, especially for summer and stuff. There are so many ways that you can decorate for cheap and I feel like DIYs are like Nia! Honestly though, like this stuff is so cute and it's super easy to make. I think all of them were under... $15, $10, $15, like super, super cheap. And if you like this video and you want to see a lot more like them, be sure to let me know. You can tell me in the comments, or you can give this video a thumbs up, or you can do both, and I will love you forever. Mwah. If you happen to recreate any of these DIYs, I would love, 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 love to see them. So be sure to send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah. So the first DIY that we're going to make are these framed doilies and they kind of remind me of like a dream catcher, I don't know, but they're really cool and they're super easy to make. So what you're going to need are some crochet doilies. I got these from Michaels for like a dollar something, super cheap, and some frames. So what you want to do first is go to your frames and take out the back and take out everything including the glass. So my frame came with this cardboard border, which I liked, so I left that in there, but you should have your frames that look like this, and now you're going to need something to secure the doily to the frame. So for this one, I'm using just thumbtacks or like push pins or whatever, and just taking a hammer and nailing them in, and that works really well. And for my other one, I honestly just used scotch tape, and that worked well too, so it's totally your preference. But after that, you are done! So that's the first DIY, super, super easy to make, and I think they are so cute. DIY are these lace mason jars and I think they are perfect for summer and you can even use them as like candle lanterns and put little candles in them. So here is what you are going to need. Some spray paint, any color of your choice, mason jars, two things of ribbon and lace, and some candles. So go ahead and take your lace and measure around the jar and leave quite a bit of extra lace so you can like hold it later and put on some trusty gloves, I highly recommend it, and then just go ahead and spray paint and you're basically using the lace as a stencil so any design lace will totally work and once the jars are dry just take off the lace and you have this really pretty lace design on your jars. And now it's time for the ribbon, so just cut off enough to make a bow around the lip of the jar. And honestly, I felt like this added so much to it and it just made it look a lot more finished opposed to just like colorful jars, if that makes sense. So you're pretty much done if you want to stay here or if you want to make them the candle lanterns that I showed you. All you need to do is take a candle and put it in the jar and you can even use the flameless kind. I would actually recommend that. Um, but yeah, then you have these really cute candle lanterns. The third DIY is personally one of my favorites because you can literally customize it however you want to, which I always like. So what you're going to need are, are, is, is some spray paint, a vase, I got mine from Ikea, and some fake flowers, and some gloves, which I recommend. So start off by spray painting your vase, and I'm using this really pretty Tiffany blue color, which I think is perfect for summer. And while that's drying, go ahead and get your flowers ready. I got these carnations from Walmart for $3, so you can get them for super cheap. And you're done. It's seriously so easy. It's probably the easiest DIY out of all of them. However, I feel like this just adds so much to my room. The colors are perfect for summer and I absolutely love it. 
And the last one is this DIY pillowcase. And you guys, get this. There is no sewing. There is no gluing. Like, what is life right now? So easy to make. And you guys are about to make a million pillowcases. Just warning you. <laughs> And to make it even better, all you need are two things, which is some fabric, any color of your choice, and you guessed it, a pillow, because that would probably be a little important for a DIY pillow, you know. But anyways, this one's kind of ugly right now. We are going to Shazam it, make it all pretty, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So basically, we're going to be wrapping up this pillow like a present, pretty easy. You're just going to start with your pillow at the corner of your square piece of fabric and fold it over one time. Now take the opposite side, fold it over again, so now you have something that looks like this. And we're going to tuck the pillow in to go to sleep, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um, and take the sides, as you can see right here, and I'm pinching, and tightly fold it over. And then just tie the two sides together. You can just do a simple knot or a bow. Totally your choice. I did a bow on the orange one and I thought it looked super cute. I really liked how it turned out. Oh, and I totally forgot to say, I did not iron my fabric before, so that's why it's like really wrinkly. Um, so you should do that. But yeah, it's really that easy. That's your pillow. And if you don't want to have the bow, you can literally just flip it over and you have a simple pillow that looks like this. It's that easy. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this DIY video. Let me know if you want more of them. And be sure to watch my last video. It was my morning routine. The link is in the down bar and you can click the screen. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.